Welcome to Studio 110. I'm Mr. Morasco. Today we're going to learn how to draw a two point linear perspective. Check it. Started, we've got our paper, but we're going to have it horizontal. We're going to go ahead and draw a horizontal line with our straight edge. That is our horizon line, again, where the earth and the sky appear to meet, or if we're drawing interiors, it's our eye level. Okay. Um, very similar to one point linear perspective, we're going to have two points. So on either end of the horizon line that we drew, we're going to put, mark two points. Okay, um, We're going to start by drawing a cube. So this would be our cube. On cube. our horizon. And we held it up to our eye. We would see this part here and then these two faces. We would not see the top or the bottom because it's right at our eye level. So with two point we are actually going to start with the corner, okay? So unlike one point where we started with a shape, two point we're going to start with a line. And then we're going to take our straight edge and we're going to line the bottom of the line we just drew, the vertical line, and our vanishing point, and we're going to draw a line back. Now I'm not going to take it all the way back. You can, but if you do, draw light so you can erase wherever you're not going to use their line. So I like to stop mine short. So we'll start at the top, line it up, and I'm going to draw a line. And then what I'm going to do is create the other line that goes here. So I'm going to do the, the uh, vertical slide, or parallel slide, however you want to work it. So I'm going to line up my straight edge with this line, and I know that this line and that line are parallel with each other. So there. So now I have this face of this box. So now I'm going to do the same thing, going in the opposite direction. So this side is a little bit longer. So I'm going to make that a little bit longer. Again, lining up the top and the bottom. And parallel slide. Make sure my vertical lines are vertical. And then I'm going to go ahead and erase. And then, because our horizon line runs through our box, I'm going to go ahead and erase it. And if you notice, the further away you are from perspective point, the less of an angle it, it appears at. The closer you are, the more dramatic your angle is going to appear. Okay. So say the box was, say we're drawing the box as if we're looking down at it, um, kind of like at this angle here, where you can see the top and the two faces. So that's going to be below our horizon line. So again, I'm going to start with a vertical line. I'm going to make the left side go back. Again, you can take it all the way back, but then you'll have to do a lot of erasing. From the top and the bottom. I'm going to take my straight edge, vertical slide, straight up and down, right? Once again, I'm going to take from the top and the bottom my original vertical line, vertical slide, straight up and down. So now we have something that kind of looks like a fence, right? So, but what about the top? How are we going to draw the top? Well, it has to go to the opposite side. So if I took from this corner to there, it's just extending that line. So that does me no good. So, but if I take from this corner to the opposite vertical line, uh, opposite vanishing point, Draw it back like that. Gives me that one because this line and this line and this line are all parallel. And then I'm going to go from this corner to this vanishing point because this line, this line, and this line are all parallel. And where they intersect gives you the back corner. In reality, I can even just to show you that would be like the back corner of the box. Okay. 
Let's do that one more time over here. Once again, starting with a vertical line. Left side goes back to the left vanishing point to start. Right side goes back to the right vanishing point. Taking our vertical lines, doing the vertical slide. Parallel, parallel, parallel. Kind of have like a little fence or an open book. Going from this corner to that corner would do me no good because it would just extend that line. So I'm going to go back to there. And I'm going to go from this corner to the opposite vanishing point. And there's my top. So that's if my box is below my horizon line. Okay. So say it was above our horizon line, instead of seeing the top, we would actually see the bottom. So once again, starting at the top, with the vertical line, make sure it lines up. Bottom of our box, and two faces of our box. Top of our box, two faces, and just the two faces. Okay. So what I want you guys to do is pause the video, and you are going to practice doing four boxes above, four boxes on, and four boxes below the horizon line using two-point linear perspective. Okay. Hopefully you got the hang of it using those, uh, practicing those, those squares. Um, so f to show me that you understand it you guys are going to go ahead and draw a street corner using two point linear perspective. Um, you should have at least five buildings on your corner block, um, a sidewalk, and the building should include doors and windows. And so what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and show you and demonstrate to you how to go about doing this. Obviously you can vary the size of your buildings and, and the size of your windows, etc., etc. I'm not going to do the whole drawing. I'm going to do one, maybe two buildings, just to kind of get you started, um, and then you will have time to, to work on that. Okay, so just like before, we're going to go ahead and start with a horizon line. We have our two vanishing points off to the side. Okay, I'm going to pick a spot somewhere right about here and that's going to be where my corner sits so I'm going to go ahead and start by draw my corner and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to extend this line just a little bit more and I'm going to extend this line a little bit more That give me the width of my sidewalk. Okay. So there's my corner of my sidewalk. And then what I need to do is go ahead and draw on the brakes for the sidewalk. Notice my straight edge is rotating along my parallel line, my vanishing point. And the same thing's gonna happen this way. Line it up. Like so again rotating it back to and to give it an actual third dimension. Here's my little 
corner. set your building right on the corner or you can give a little bit of space we're going to set it right on the corner for this building i'm going to go above my horizon line so once again starting with a vertical line line that up now the bottom's already taken care of because of the sidewalk and a little slide Side, right? Comes this way. Again, that side's taken care of. Turn a little slide. Drop down that corner of the building. And then you erase your horizon line, right? Because we all have X-ray vision like Superman. So. so I need to draw another building. So this time I'm going to go ahead and create a little bit of an alley. So I'm going to start with a vertical line. A little bit taller. And this one goes back to here, kind of disappears behind this building. This side, go back here, and it'll disappear behind that building. This line is along the sidewalk. And this line goes this way as far as you need. Vertical line, slide, straight down. wanted the building next to touching. So do one a little bit taller. Same rules apply. That takes care of that. Draw a line. Straight down. This line's up here. That. You can make that as far as you need to go. Okay. And if there's one below the horizon line, you're, you're only going to see the face. Because if that was my corner, and I line it up, you're not going to see it because it goes through behind all these other buildings. Same way this way. This is my corner, my new building. This side will go back through there. This side, I'll go back to there. I can't see it though because it goes through my box. Okay. So there are, I ended up drawing five buildings anyway. Okay. And on the doors, the windows, okay. it's kind of like we're making smaller versions of these sides. So whatever side you're drawing on, it's going to go back to that vanishing point. So if it's on this side here, it's going to go to this vanishing point. If it's on this side, it's going to go back to this vanishing point. So, I'll do these two buildings just to show you. So, if we do a door, vertical lines, right? And then I'm going to take my, just like that, and I'm going to raise my vertical line. Open the door. I'm going to do a couple windows. I'm just going to start my vertical lines. And I'm guessing where they're going to be. Adjust them. If I take that, obviously you need to adjust them. Those are really bad. way you can do it you can actually start with, with the lines going this way 
drop in the lines that are going back into space. If you notice, I'm still I'm just pivoting on my vanishing point. So then I can go back in and I can drop in verticals. Side of the building went to there, this side of the building went to there. So let me do this one and then you guys can work on your own. And if it's sitting on the horizon line, you know that it'll be straight across. Okay. So all that went back to that side. my leftovers. Now that I establish where the windows are, architecture is usually done that things are symmetrical. I can use these windows as a guide to where to put my next set of windows. side of the line of the corner goes to the left vanishing point, the right side of the corner goes to the right vanishing point. Okay, and it hopefully gives you a good start on how to create two perspective city streets. Okay. And that's your assignment to create one. Again, it has to have at least five buildings, a sidewalk, and the building should have doors and windows. The more detail you can add to it, the cooler it's going to look. Okay, so like I can add you know, if I wanted to add some decorative moldings, right? Just by adding a few lines, it's gonna look interesting. So maybe I wanna add you know, a frame. Maybe the windows have window seals on the bottom. The same rules are going to apply did for the windows. They're just mini versions of the rectangles. You see how just adding a little bit of extra lines, a little bit extra work, you can see how much more interesting this building is becoming. I'm not worried about like bricks and stuff like that. You guys don't have to do that. But, okay, so go ahead and get started, and hopefully this will help. Hopefully that tutorial was helpful and gives you guys a good start on drawing two-point linear perspective. I'll be around to help you guys out as you need it. Now go make great art.